In this lesson, you will learn the following. How to install the application we are going to be writing tests for, either with Git or by downloading a zip file of the repo. How to install Node.js. How to install VS Code. How to run the application's development server locally. And finally, we will go over the features, pages, and functionality of the application we are going to be testing. The first thing we need to do is download a copy of the application we are going to be testing onto our computers. You can do this in two different ways. First, if you are familiar with Git, you can clone a copy of this repo with it. You need to make sure when you are cloning this repo that you are cloning the start branch. There are detailed instructions in the lesson page where you can easily copy and paste the correct command into your terminal. Second, if you are unfamiliar with Git, the easiest way is to download the repo as a zip file. Currently, we are on the master branch, but if we click on this dropdown, we can select the start branch like so. Now that we are on the start branch, we can click on the green code button and at the very bottom, click on download zip. Once the zip file has been downloaded, we will need to unzip it by double clicking on it. Now that we have a copy of the application on our computer, we will need to install Node.js and VS Code. If you don't already have Node.js installed, you will need to install it from the Node.js website at nodejs.org. Make sure that you download the latest LTS version and not the current version. This application will be updated and maintained to work with LTS versions only. Once you have downloaded and installed Node.js, you're going to need a text editor for writing your tests. In this course, we will be using VS Code and highly recommend you do as well in order to follow along. You can download VS Code at code.visualstudio.com. Once you launch VS Code, you can open up the application repo by clicking on File Open, and then select the folder of the application. Next, we will need to launch a new terminal window, which we can do by clicking on Terminal, New Terminal. Now let's make sure we have Node.js successfully installed. Within the terminal, type node space dash v. The version of node output in your terminal should match the LTS version you downloaded from the Node.js website. Next, we will need to install all of our application's dependencies via npm install. Once all of our dependencies have been installed, we can run the application's local dev server with npm run dev. Once the server has booted, we can see the application running at localhost 3000. The homepage of our application consists of this hero section that contains a form that allows users to sign up for our newsletter. Next, we have some feature callouts that let the user know what they can expect to learn from our courses. Then we have the courses section of our homepage. In this section, we have each course listed with all of the lessons contained within that course. If we click on the get started button, we will be taken to the course landing page. The course landing page provides additional information specific to the course. All of the lessons are listed on the left hand side. And at the bottom, the start course button will take the user to the first lesson of this course. The lesson page has a three column layout. The left column contains the table of contents. When you click on one of the links, you will jump to that section in the content. The middle column contains the content of the lesson. The right column tracks our progress throughout the course. As we complete the lesson, these circles will be filled in denoting that we have completed the lesson. At the very bottom of the page is a quiz. In this demo application, all of the answers are true. After selecting the correct answer, the next lesson button appears, which when clicked will take the user to the next lesson. As you can see, now we are on the next lesson and the first lesson has been completed in the right column progress indicator. Now that we have a better understanding of what this application does, we are now ready to start writing tests for it. In the next lesson, we will learn how to install Cypress and write our first end-to-end -end test.